How to find your own God from myths and books, Celtic mythology. Many of you here are studying at the General Theory of Magic course. There we discuss these projections in detail. We discuss the division into Apollonian and Dionysian channels in all pantheons, including the Celtic pantheon we are talking about today. There was the god Nuada. A one-armed, silver-handed god who was the patron god of the people called Fenians and who believed that the development of human consciousness and the world in general should follow its own natural course. There was the glorious and awesome god Luth, who was everyone's favorite. A pure Phoebus, the projection of Apollo, who says that all the processes that go on here must be regulated and nothing can be left to chance even if it's against nature. There were also the gods of nature who did not participate in this confrontation. They were a kind of original guardians of the resources of this world and distributed them according to the victory or defeat of one of the parties. In the Celtic pantheon, it was the god Dagda. Fat and ruddy, handsome and charming, always drunk, whose daughter, by the way, is Brigida, whom we also mentioned today. And there are ordinary people who somehow exist in between. Would you like to take a little test to find out which of the gods you belong to? There was one outstanding mystic, a true occultist, who knew ancient mythology better than we do. In due time he was initiated into the Druidic tradition. In the era in which he lived he was called an initiated Freemason. Everyone knows his name. It's Alexander Dumas. And his work, The Three Musketeers, is absolutely mystical because the four characters described there are nothing more than the prototypes of the gods I've just described. Now, please think about your reaction to the book or to the movie, which was done in an absolutely brilliant way. Continuing and projecting this whole basic mystical line unchanged, please remember your childhood impression of who you were more attracted to. Do you remember? The interpretation of this test is simple enough to understand. Of course, the god Luff is the stunning Aramis that everyone admires. He is the one who tries to run with the hare and hunt with the hounds. The gorgeous Athos, with his mysterious image and wounded right hand, is of course the god Nuada. If you are attracted to him, then your heart belongs to that god. The adorable Porthos, no one's favorite, is of course the god Dagda, always drunk, scrappy, kind to his friends and ruthless to his enemies. Even his name, Baron du Vallon de Brasseuse de Pierrefins, contains a coded Welsh identity, and D'Artagnan is an ordinary man who, at different times, in different periods of his formation, followed Aramis, Athos, or Porthos like a puppy, and in the end always faced the question, who is he really? So does the interpretation match your personality or not? Of course it does, because a child's heart cannot be deceived, a child's heart is not yet under the influence of the egregores. At that age, if we love someone, we love them, and if we hate someone, we hate them, whose enemies were your own enemies. Whose side were you on? Who would you gladly trade places with and do the exact same thing? 